Baker, greeting cyber dogs and citizens of the interbubs. This is Ren Diggity Dogger coming at you in another episode of Minecraft Survival for Rom, the Hermitcraft server. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, from all over the world to the foundations of West Terminal here at Grand Central Station. And ooh, baby, as you guys can see, the Ren Diggity Dog be cooking with gas up in this business. It's been a couple of days since we were together here on camera. And that is because I have been doing a ridiculous amount of off-camera grinding, my dudes. Which includes the installation of this beautiful little underwater terminal, which is going to become the train platform for the western line of the Hermitcraft Railway Network. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, guys. Nice to see you all again. I know it's been a couple days <laughs> since the last episode. That's because a bunch of stuff has been happening off camera. And most importantly, a bunch of stuff has been happening on stream. This past weekend, we had a couple of really awesome streams on my Twitch channel. And in one of those streams, well, you guys may notice a little something something about the Ren Diggity Dog legs. And ladies, I know what you're thinking. Randog, you must be doing some serious squats, man. Those are some sexy legs if I ever did see them. But no, I'm not talking about the muscles, my dudes. I am talking about the distinct lack of tag trousers. That's right. This weekend on stream in front of a lot of Hermitcraft fans on the Hermitcraft stream day, I managed to tag one of my fellow hermits. And uh, it turned out to be one of the most epic tags that I think has happened so far on the server. I'm going to show you guys some of that footage in today's episode. Oh man, this is going to be another one of those episodes, guys. I don't really know what to put where. There's so many exciting things to show you. I think we'll kick things off today, though, with a little bit of show and tell, right? Because as you guys can see, man, a lot of work has been done here uh, at Grand Central Station. I do believe the last time we were together, we had installed just one of these spires over here. Well, more good news is to follow, my friends, because since the previous episode, I have literally finished the top design of Grand Central Station. Are you guys ready? to see this. Let's do a little bit of swoopage as we come all the way around above Aquatown. And look at that baby, Grand Central Station. <laughs> Looking absolutely amazing. Oh man, I'm so very happy with this build. Um, I did want to do a little bit of this stuff on camera with you guys over the last few days, but you know, it ended up being so grindy that I decided I just wouldn't record a few episodes for a few days and I would just get this project done. I mean, we've been trying to get this project finished now for like a month or so, right? And it was about time that I just got down to some serious work. And as you guys can see, Grand Central Station looking incredible. Now, there's a couple of really sweet little changes that I made to the design since we were last together. Firstly, a massive thank you to everybody for all of the love in the comments about this uh, particular project, man. So many great ideas have been coming from the community and uh, I really feel like we're making this thing together. And, uh, you know, even though I designed this thing in creative, it's definitely different to the way that I designed it at first. And that's mostly because of your guys' comments. And I want to take you guys through a few of the ideas that you've given me. Number one, we're now using pr dark prismarine slabs instead of blocks. And this is new to the aquatic update, right? We get slabs and stairs for dark prismarine. And I really love this. Not only, like, does this function, this has like a number of functions. Man, I'm so excited about this I can barely speak firstly this is going to stop any mob spawning on top of Grand Central Station and secondly this has also helped to save a little bit of dark prismarine for us right I had to spend a bunch of diamonds at Falsies ink shop to get enough uh, ink for dark prismarine but now I managed to basically double the amount of dark prismarine that we had and uh, using the stairs I've also managed to create these very nice little light features on the top of uh, the Grand Central Station in the original design the top of Grand Central was a little bit flat right but these little lights now, they sort of pop out of the, uh, the these sort of beams that go all the way around the donut, right? Or the sort of support beam, I suppose. And I think that just adds a nice little bit of depth to the build. I think that's fantastic. Now, one of the problems that I had, uh, like having built this thing in survival, 
was that mobs started to spawn on top of these spires. One of you guys gave me a great idea about putting a little bit of white wool on top there. So we got white wool all the way up the spires now. So now zero mobbage can spawn on top of Grand Central Station, making the place super safe, which is amazing. And I think we did, I think I've done it exactly the same on the inside too. Now, I spent a little bit of time in the nether also over the last few days getting a bunch of quartz. And uh, that's allowed me to finish off most of the quartz action, most of the quartz stairs within the, the interior of Grand Central. So we've done all of the, the, the stairs lining and stuff for the donut and yeah i did exactly the same here for the light features right using the prismarine stairs and i think that just i don't know that just sort of broke up the flatness of this uh, sort of support column or, or support beam i suppose that runs all the way along the uh, the donut so that's pretty sweet man really really happy with that um and i think i managed to finish off all of the court stairs inside of the central terminal too uh, so that's looking pretty sweet now today i would like to figure out a way for us to very neatly be able to get up and down into the different terminals over here and uh, that's what that's going to be the project that we work on on today but what i've been doing mostly off camera my dudes is working on the actual terminals themselves and what i decided to do was add another room under each of the terminals and the reason that i decided on this is because having reviewed the way that we design grand central what I figured was there isn't a really good way to add any sort of train platforms at the top of Grand Central. Let's go to one of the platforms that hasn't been decimated by my pickaxe over here. Um, so if you have a look at yellow here, right, at the uh, the northern terminal, where would we add rail tracks and stuff? Like there's just nowhere to add it here. And if we were to add some rail tracks here, it would kind of break up the whole beauty uh, of the terminal and sort of mess the whole place up a little bit. So I figured, hey, maybe what we should do is just add another room underneath Grand Central and down here is where we can add all of our train tracks and stuff, right? Let me get a couple of blocks in the inventory over here. Um, you know what? Let's just use gravel for now, just as a foundation block. So uh, just to give you an idea of what I'm thinking over here. Um, so I think the very center of this terminal is like over here. Yeah, so potentially, dudes, we could have our railway lines running in here like so, right? So the train lines will be running to West Station here and coming back from West Station here too. And then on either side of the lines, we could have have our platforms for our trains, right? And that's kind of how I think uh, we're going to build Grand Central Station. And of course, we get really beautiful views down here too of the ocean around us, which I think is really sweet. And we'll have to work a little bit on the underside of Grand Central at some point too, just to make it all look a little bit more beautiful. And uh, yeah, today we're going to try to figure out a way to get up and down here that's a little bit better than this little water vator, uh, this temporary water vator system that I have going on over here. Oh my goodness. Can't even get up the stupid thing. That's probably because I haven't had enough coffee today, guys. Give me one second, man. Let me get a sip of my beverage. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> there we go. Now, another thing that we managed to do on stream, guys, which is super exciting, uh, the very first time that I've actually done it since the Aquatic Update, is installing a conduit. Now, if you guys can remember, a few episodes ago, we went and bought a conduit and a conduit kit from Azuma. And uh, on stream this weekend, we installed the conduit. Pretty easy to do. You stick your conduit uh, where you want to put it, and then um, you give it a block space <laughs> from the conduit, and then you build this sort of structure out of Prismarine all the way around. Um, and you're basically making rings, right, around the conduit. So a ring that way, and a ring that way, and then a ring uh, horizontally. And that gives us underwater to breathing it gives us night vision underwater and it keeps the drowns from annoying you um, while you're working underwater and as you can see uh, it just becomes so much easier to work under here so really really sweet to get that conduit installed and of course uh, with all of these things underwater here that's going to give the hermits a, a little bit of a boost also around Grand Central Station so that turned out really really nice and I gotta say man Grand Central Station the project itself coming along a treat I'm really enjoying the project uh, I'm gonna try bring you guys back now a little bit more that we then we've that we've done uh, some more progress over here and I guess I just wanted to have a quick look I've literally just finished installing all of the glass into the terminal that terminal actually looks really sweet underwater doesn't it oh man I really like the way that's turned out I, I had this vision of maybe extending these supports like over the top of these terminals here uh, just to sort of I don't know just to try and like link it a little bit more to the build but I actually think that's turned out real good and we can see you know in our mind's eye one of these terminals on each four of the corners uh, or the north south east west of the terminal i think that's going to look really really sweet actually um and as the sun sets over hermacraft island here man that is just looking fantastic isn't it Whew, 
Absolutely loving it. Now, dudes, we've got a little bit more good news to share with y'all <laughs> in today's episode. You know what? Shall we land at the top of Grand Central here just so that we can be completely safe? Uh, so not only over the last few days did I manage to get rid of the tag, but I am very pleased to announce that we have managed to make our very first profit out of the Hermacraft Stock Exchange a couple of days ago, got together with one of our whales of the Stock Exchange to make a little bit of a, a stock sale, shall we say. And uh, well, today we need to deliver our broker's fee to this particular hermit. But before we get to that, take a look at this, my dudes. Azuma the whale, welcome, sir. Kind whale? gentleman. I'm, I'm a turtle, Ren. What, what, what are you thinking here? The big spender <laughs> on the stock exchange. Listen, we Th treat we treat our whales with respect. I understand. I, I feel respected right now. Whoa! Yep. Giving me the treatment. I see how this is. Only the top spenders get to get in the jacuzzi. Yeah. Plus, just for being here, you get a diamond. Oh, wow. That is some service right there. I have spent. I, do, do you know what, Ren, when, yep. I, when this thing opened? I got my hands on every single diamond I could, and I invested uh -huh. heavily we know. in the system. We've been watching the graphs. It. We've been watching. <laughs> we know. The graphs. I love Listen, it. anything oh, you man. need, yeah, a glass of champagne. Would you like some caviar, sir? Caviar sounds fantastic. I, I would very much enjoy. But hey, we're here today to broker another deal, right? Yes. Uh, give me one. Uh, Doc, get the caviar, bro. Sorry. Is he even listening? Yeah. I've got him you on got... a walkie-talkie. Okay. Yeah. I, I'd, I'd say you've got one of your top dogs here. <laughs> we got and, our, and, got a whale in the house. Doc, um... where are you? <laughs> he's locked up in his office. I don't think he's listening, Ren. Listen, he's in the kitchen getting the caviar, my dude. He's busy. I see. I see. <laughs> busy man. <laughs> so, um, what can I do for you, sir? Mr. Azuma, I, whale I the wish stock to exchange. move some stocks around, you know. Oh, okay. Yes. I yeah, know well, how the system mm -hmm. works. Yeah. I, I'm seeing where the numbers are rising and falling, and mm -hmm. I want to cash out on some of my stocks. I mean, look, that you know, we've been we've been trading big time over the last few days. Listen, I just want to warn you. You know, at the moment, yep. the hype is real. We're, we're, the, the, there's a serious bull run happening right now. I would I would advise holding a little bit. Maybe not selling out right away. You might lose a little bit of value. Uh, if you just sell I, you right know, away, I appreciate so. the vice, but I have yep. got a lot of stock invested in many companies, and okay. uh, I'm only going to smell like uh, smell, <laughs> Sm smell your, your stocks, people, smell your socks. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that is, but uh, yeah, I, I'm looking to cash out on a fraction, not everything. Yeah. All right, yeah, don't no, worry. Yeah. I mean, cash, yeah. all right, because cashing out is not advised. It, it, you know, it might result in in uh, bankruptcy. I, I mean, <clears throat> uh, a, 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 but you know, you, you might sort of shake the shake the market a little bit there, X. Um, so I don't mind you know. shaking it up, you know. All right. Well, some um, numbers fall, other numbers rise. As you can see, we we've got what we need to make this trade happen, uh, Mr. X. So um, I, I will I will you Ooh. know get get a little bit of bling blings ready here for you, and uh, we can broker a deal upstairs uh, in a moment. Uh, by the way, you, you got absolute fart bubbles coming out of you. Do I? <laughs> yeah, it, it makes you look like you smell. <laughs> yeah. I, I was sitting on one of the shoots of the jacuzzi, my dude. I'm I'm still, you know, getting rid of <laughs> <laughs> getting rid of the after effects. I've I've got them as well, but mine aren't like thick like yours. Do you know do you know what I want? I want fart <laughs> bubbles out of this game. Right? <laughs> you're recording the video, they're right in front of your screen while you're walking around. It's the worst. Yeah, it is annoying. Oh, and phones going off in the background also annoying. Wow, we're good at this. Let's get let's get rid of our phones, people. <laughs> Hashtag no more phones. Uh my dude. Yes. <clears throat> I'm, I'm here to I'm here to move some HSE stock. You know I believe in the company. But okay. The price has gone up. I'm looking to make some diamonds and reinvest. Right. And I'd like to sell some of my shares. You know. Well, I, I may have dropped three stacks of diamonds into HSE yesterday, so this hurts me a lot. I guess I guess it does. But hey, man, the, the money moves around, right? Yeah. There's going to be other stocks you've brought that yeah. the price will change. And you'll I, get I got my eye on uh, on Fall Symmetry uh, Company and uh, Iscalium Inc. over here, my dude. That's yeah, where, those that's where were low, bid, weren't so. they? Mm -hmm. You know, yep. I ran out of diamonds. I put so much in. I would have liked to have got more of those. But dude, I'm looking to sell about half of what I got here. So that's going to okay. be nine and eleven of these stacks, right? Uh, of shares, right? This is gonna hurt. I, I think I've got enough diamonds for this. Let's let's see if this is possible. So okay. you're gonna put the stocks back in one at a time, so we can track how much we owe you. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. 
So I'm going to put the first ones in. Yeah, we don't have it, have internet um, automatic processes here on the Hermacraft server. We do this analog style. All right, 32 for I the see. first. <laughs> okay, in goes the second. I think the price is pretty much going to stick the same for a while here. All right, so that was 16, right? Yeah, I'm going to rip out all of those. That's officially half what I got. Okay, so in goes another stack. All right, that's another 16. In goes another one. Yep. And another one. Yes. And another one. I can yes. hear the pain in your voice. And another one. Yes. And another one. Yes. And last of all, one more. Okay. Good. That is a tidy profit. Do you know what, Ren? <laughs> yes. I completely believe in this system. You, you, you literally, you're balling right now. That was, you, you literally w wolf of Wall Streeted this bad boy. That's beautiful, my I dude. I did. I did, First man. I'm, I'm major those, profit. Do you know how much profit you made? Oh, that's a good question. Let's, let's, let's do a little bit of live math. I reckon about... Plus the one you gave me, fifty diamonds maybe. Nice, that that that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, it still makes you the whale of the of the of the stock exchange. So if you would kindly follow follow me um, upstairs, um, only will, whales are allowed up here. By the way, I, I think uh, Mr. Doc has actually taken you up here before and um, he has. You well. And yes. uh, I've done it, a little bit of work up here for you, by the oh, way, Ren. If you oh. just. Uh, yeah, yeah, just just you know, feel yeah. the ambience of this little area right here. Maybe take a oh. look in this direction. Oh, hello! What's That's that? That's the dirt you wanted in the cauldron. Yes. <laughs> How did you do that? It's a leather hat on an armor stand. Oh, that is genius. That <laughs> is genius. Wow. It's pretty cool. Well, um, pretty cool. if you would come into the boudoir, we have we have one final thing to do here to seal the deal. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Yes, my friend. And that is. Um, well, that's that's a high five over the table. So, oh, okay. congratulations on your profits here at the stock exchange, Azuma. You have clearly shown that Thank it is possible so to make bling blings up in this business, and we hope to see your business return in the future. It will return very soon, my friend. All very right. soon. Good stuff. It's seal this deal, baby. Up, three, two, one. Up, up. Go. <laughs> that's nice. a done deal right there. Dear Mr. Azuma Void. Congratulations on your recent sale of HSE holding stocks at the Hermacraft Stock Exchange. You made a net sale to the value of 160 diamonds. Uh, attached are your sales fees. Net sale, 160 diamonds. 10% broker's fee of 16 diamonds. Admin fee of 4 diamonds for a total of 20 diamonds. Thank you for your business. Rendog, CEO of HSC Holdings. So, a huge congratulations to CEO Azuma Void for his sale of HSC stocks a few days ago. Uh, we're going to be delivering this uh, broker's fee uh, invoice directly to Azuma Void's uh, mailbox in town. Of course, you know, when a big whale comes into the stock exchange and spends a whole bunch of money, you don't want to be giving them their bill right away, right? You've got to treat them proper. You've got to treat them whales with respect. They know they've got to pay a broker's fee at some point but you don't throw it in their face when they come and spend a whole bunch of diamonds in your stock exchange instead you put it in the mail and uh, you know you expect that the whale will very promptly make their payment so Zuma, expect your bill in your mailbox very very shortly shall we take a quick look at where stocks are at uh, a, a, about a week or so later since we checked in the last episode guys i think there's been quite a lot of movement actually Let's see if we can update our scoreboard real quick. Uh, Concorp at a value of 32 diamonds per stock. That's pretty That's pretty impressive. Concorp taking it up a notch here. Uh, looks like they might be at the number one uh, spot here. Tango Tech rocking it up at eight diamonds per stock. Uh, Impulse Industries up to 16 diamonds per stock. Very good. Architects at eight diamonds per stock. And Wells Corp at eight diamonds per stock. Azuma Company at 16 diamonds per stock. Have they come down a little bit there? It looks like they may have come down. Escalium Incorporated at three diamonds per stock and False Symmetry Industries at three diamonds per stock. This is where we have hedged our bets. We haven't seen any movement here yet on our stock, so that's cool. We will hold for now. Uh, iJevin Industries at th at eight diamonds per stock and HSE Holding at 16 diamonds per stock, which is probably a result of a Zuma Void sale. Um, and it looks like the Concorp are running the show this week at the Hermacraft Stock Exchange. So congratulations to the Concorp on 
your excellent performance on the stock exchange this week. We'll see what happens over the next few days, guys. I know that Doc and I have a couple of uh, re sale requests uh, on the in the pipeline right now. A couple of hermits have come to us with the request to do some sales. So we'll see what happens next week. We'll see where the stock exchange gets to. Uh, but for now... You know, Doc and I worked extremely hard on the stock exchange and we haven't made a single diamond out of it yet. So it's time for Doc and I to start trying to make a little bit of a profit out of our business venture. And, uh, well, the only way that we can do that, of course, is by charging a little bit of commission when hermits sell their stocks uh, in <laughs> the stock exchange. Welcome, everybody, to the Hermit Craft Post Office. <laughs> We've actually not been here before on uh, this series so far. And, man, I want to actually use this a little bit more. I think it's really, really sweet. I completely forgot about it. Uh, but this is the way that the hermits communicate with each other uh, sort of in-game and off-camera. If we can't get e hold of each other uh, on Discord, we can send each other a, a mail over here. And, well, there's a Zoom Avoids mailbox. Looks like he's got mail. <laughs> um, it's got a Halloween store open advert. But uh, here you go, Mr. Zoom Avoid. Your HSE broker's fees. Please promptly make your payment um, to my mailbox here which is around here somewhere where where is our mailbox anyway shall we have a look real quick um i think we probably got a pumpkin also there we go yeah we probably got a pumpkin oh my goodness wow we got a lot of stuff in here what is this free ss item with ores galore purchase okay that's pretty good uh squid incorporation okay so that's just an advert lol you've been jingled i don't know what that is for the dogs by joe hills i don't know what that is uh another advert and it looks like another advert so Oh, wow, a bunch of spam mail <laughs> in my mailbox. That's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can come and check back in a couple of episodes time and, and collect our broker's fee. Shall we read what this is all about? Really electrifying neighbor, neighbor dream of gaming. <laughs> Rendog, really electrifying neighbor, dream of gaming. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sure there's a, a much deeper meaning to that, but I haven't had enough coffee today to figure that one out. But thanks, Joe. I'll I'll keep this book as a memento of season six. I'm sure someone in the comments will explain to me exactly what's cracking with that book. Oh, man. All right. So, dudes, business has been attended to. Very, very excellent news. Uh, there's probably only one more thing that we need to go over. Ooh, that is really sweet. Look at this banner. Whoa. That's really cool. Okay, uh, sorry, just got completely distracted by the awesomeness of that banner. Uh, yeah, there's one more thing that we need to talk about real quick before we do a little bit of crafting in today's episode, and that is, of course, the Great Log War of 2018. The Concorp and Big Logs Incorporated currently in battle for the monopoly of the log business here on the Hermacraft server. Uh, well, the battle continues. I haven't checked profits for today, but let's have a quick look here. Ooh, a couple of diamonds sold here from spruce very excellent uh, any more diamonds sold oh by the way uh, these have been sales from this week too i actually came to collect profits yesterday because i needed to go make a purchase over at the butt barge looks like we got another eight diamonds of birch very excellent and a bunch of oak log sales guys the strategy is actually starting to work so that's 20 diamonds for this week which is up from profits from last week i think yesterday i collected about 16 diamonds or so um, from Big Logs. So we were up to about 36 diamonds this week, which I think is almost double the amount of profits that we made last week from Big Logs. And well, the very tedious <laughs> process and very tedious strategy of buying out the convex of all of their logs is slowly but surely starting to pay off. And well, as you guys can see, yesterday I made another very big wholesale purchase here in the butt barge. And uh, well, the convex had stocked every single chest full up with logs which means I spent about three hours yesterday doing some bacon mining to get all the diamonds that I required. But as you can see, uh, they've been bought out once again, which has resulted in the sale of logs from Big Logs Incorporated. So the strategy is actually working. Now, I wanted to show you guys uh, something that might hurt your brain a little bit because, well, <laughs> the number of diamonds that I have mined out of the ground in this series of Hermacraft is um, actually kind of painful. Let me see if I can find diamonds in the list, or diamond ore, I believe, is what we need to find. Hold on, let's have a look. Where Where is diamond ore? Oh, jeez, my eyeballs are burning. There we go. 1,217 diamond ore 
mined by the Ren, the diggity, the freaking idiot. I got the thing for the thing with the thing. Thing. <laughs> there we go. Perhaps we should gather on the ship. For a celebration. Sweet. G's hatching a plan. How does that look from the outside? It looks pretty good, right? I think maybe we need to make the roof into glass too, right guys? Like the roof needs to be glass here. <laughs> Oops. Hey, false. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Hey, falsy. <laughs> Genius. Genius. All right, there we go. Come on. Spamage. Spamage. Okay. Oops. Okay, there we go. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. The hole has been created. It's been sponged. Very good. The man himself has not yet arrived. I think it's only two, though. The tag. We got it. We got everything that we need, guys. We have everything that we need right now to make this happen. Where in the pants? And uh, we managed to install the westerly terminal. Oh, the western terminal? Is it? Bam! <laughs> I got, I got him, dudes. I got him. Gotcha! Got him! <laughs> no! <laughs> How could it have gone so bad? How could it have gone so badly? <laughs> oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh my god, what the freak? How could that have ended so bad? How did that, how did that go so badly? I'm so sorry that I ambushed you like that, my friend. You know I'm a pacifist, man. I don't like these sort of shenanigans, but it is the game of tag. It had to happen, my brother, man. I, I forgot about the tag. It turned out so beautiful. I mean, I'm I, so sorry. I, I'm <laughs> so sorry. Green in the house. Oh, it turned out so good though, G. It was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I just I was so I, confused. I just I knew exactly how Scar's mind works, and I was like, if I just make a hole, he's gonna look in it long enough for me to fit it in. <laughs> it's just, it's just, a, it's just so obvious. What I wasn't ready for was you to log on and instantly be here. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, no. message Ren. Oh no, he's escaping. <laughs> oh, did Scar yeah, no, like I... literally log on on the barge? Like you were on the barge, like when you logged <laughs> yeah, on. I'm at the house, as I am, as I always am. Oh, that's hilarious, my brother. Well, the good uh, yeah, news is, Yeah, I and instantly hear, like, a chest opening. I'm like, <laughs> Ren's buying us out again. And I jumped down there thinking it was you, and it's Green. And I was like, oh, it's just Green. He's, never, yeah. he's not up to any shenanigans. Yeah. Never. Never at all. It's just God, this it's, hole. And I think, oh, he's... I, I was like, did you talk to the cub about the secret secret thing? And I'm like, oh, he's probably working on the secret secret thing. <laughs> yeah, the and secret then, secret thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Turned out it was another another secret 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 yeah. thing. Well, Scott, my, my, my good man friend, man. Costume. Yeah. The, the good news is, I did buy you out, so you you now have another four stacks of diamonds, so GG. Also, I died tagging you by my own endermite, so there's some justice in that. <laughs> it killed me, the endermite killed me, dude. The real tragedy is Python stole your sword. 
And yeah, that, that is also a tragedy, actually. It does look good on him, though, right? Brings out his eye. Without a doubt, one of my favorite moments this year streaming Hermacraft, guys. Oh my goodness. It couldn't have turned out more beautiful. <laughs> Massive thank you to Grian for helping me get rid of the tag. And a big apology for Tuscar for basically ambushing him at the very start of his stream with the tag to the face. But hey, justice was served as I was murdered by my own endemite. <laughs> <laughs> which I think was absolutely hilarious. But man, very pleased that we managed to get the tag off us and uh, Scar is now uh, tagged <laughs> on the server officially. And I know that he's got some big plans for his particular tagging. So make sure you pop over to his channel and uh, keep an eye on him, man. I'm going to make sure I'm watching Scar's videos. I want to see how the next Hermit gets tagged for real. Uh, anyway, I think we've got a little bit more time in this episode, guys. After all of that stuff that's been going on this week to do a little bit of work here at Grand Central Station station and I'd like to focus in on a very specific task and I think this is probably one of the most important things that we have to work out together here uh, for this particular build and this is a task that I didn't really think about when I created Grand Central in Creative. It's uh, a part of the build that I sort of neglected and I sort of thought to myself, oh we'll figure it out when we get there. Well we've now gotten there and we now need to figure out exactly how our commuters are going to get from the first floor of Grand Central into the terminals of Grand Central. And uh, well, on stream this weekend, as you can see, I did a little bit of experimenting and whatnot, trying to figure it out, but I'm gonna sort of fix everything here. And let's start again from scratch, right? Now, I wanna try and keep the integrity of our terminals intact. I think these terminals look really, really beautiful. And I, I kind of want to keep the donut nice and open. You know, if we think about stations in real life, train stations in real life, the, the big open public areas are very uncluttered. There's, a, there's not a lot of stuff to get in the way. And that is, of course, because you have hundreds of thousands of commuters passing through uh, the stations on a daily basis. Of course, here on the Hermacraft server, we might have one or two passing through uh, <laughs> once a week. But... <laughs> Regardless, uh, we want to try and make sure that our station is built as logically as possible. So, with that in mind, I think what we need to do is install some sort of an easy way to get down from the terminal above all the way down into the terminal below. Now, hold on. I can't really hear any sound right now. Have I got blocks turned off or something? No. Okay, everything's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Uh, when I stream, I often mess with my audio settings, so sometimes things are a little bit squonky when I'm recording. Um, anyway, let's get back into, the, into this over here, dude. So we need to figure out a way to get from the donut into the terminals below. And I think I've got a pretty decent idea for this. Let's get all the way down here first, though. And uh, let's clean up this disastrous mess that we actually made um, uh, about an hour ago or so. Let's get rid of this and let's just make this official, okay? So this is going to be the train lines that are traveling to West Station and coming back from West Station. And what we need to do is create a platform, I think, on either side of this particular line over here. Much like you would see in a railway station in real life, right? You would have your train rails running through the center of like a, a platform and then on either side of those rails we will have our platform right so the platform might be over here for example so this is where the hermits will stand uh, while they're waiting for their train so there'd be a platform uh, over here which might be the outgoing platform so this is the platform that takes the hermit to west station and of course on this side we're going to have the platform that's bringing players from west station right um and we probably don't have to do it this way but i think this is going to make the whole thing look really sweet we've got like a lot of space to work with down here and i kind of want to make sure that the whole uh, place is looking amazing now another thing that i want to try and, and instill into this build also is the color scheme that we've been working with and uh well down here we can't really see that this is north terminal so we probably need to get a little bit of uh, color into this i don't know how we can do that uh, maybe we can line the the platforms themselves um, you know platforms usually have some sort of a line at the very edge but th th that's usually like a danger line of some kind so maybe um, we could add a blue line over here uh, on the platforms and this indicates okay now we're at the, the blue terminal right because right now we could be at any terminal without a little bit of color coding down here so if we add some uh, light blue here now we know we're at blue terminal um, now how the freak do we get down here <laughs> that is the the real big question We've got a couple of our platforms forms installed there so that's cool and uh, let's see what we can we can do over here so this is what i'm thinking every single train station in the world well 
I think there's probably maybe a few train stations that are 100% free, but most train stations on this planet require some sort of ticket to be purchased, right? If you want to go on the train, you've got to buy yourself a ticket. And, uh, well, that's going to be exactly the same here in Grand Central Station. Right. Uh, I think we're probably going to be charging some sort of a fee for the hermits to actually use the station. But uh, I haven't really worked that out yet. <laughs> we'll figure that out at some point. But just for the sake of this build, what if we were to install some sort of a ticket booth station that actually also functioned as a way to get up and down from the, the terminal below? So what I'm thinking is, right, we could get some water vapor action going, or should I say some bubble vapor action going. So we could have a, bu a bubble vapor down and a bubble vapor up, and that should bring us up and down from the terminals quite nicely. And uh, do I have any panes over here? Hold on, let me get a few panes over here. Um, yeah, this is, this is actually going to work out pretty good. It, we spent a lot of time on this on stream, actually. We went back and forth for about an hour on how to design this, and eventually we came up with a pretty cool idea. Um, and I think this is going to work out real nice. Don't really like how the glass panes connect at the back there, but let's just ignore that for now, okay? So let's assume that this is basically a ticket booth over here. Uh, that's cute, but very wrong. And yes, I know, I've been wasting so much glass. We need to make Silkworm Gym again real quick, dudes. I mean, it's 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 time that Silkworm Gym gets a little bit of a revival, I think, right? Um, anyway, check it out, right? So this could be the ticket booth, and here we could get a little bit of our blue in here too, right? Indicating that this is North Terminal. And uh, I haven't actually tried this build yet, so let's have a look if this is going to work out real nice. Hmm. So what do you guys think? That does look a little bit to me like a ticket booth of some kind. Maybe we can improve it a little bit uh, by solidifying uh, the back wall over here. Maybe what we can do actually is use blue for the back like that, right? Yeah, that looks a little bit more like a kiosk of some kind, some sort of a ticket sale kiosk. I like it. Let's do the same on this side. Um, that looks pretty sweet. And then maybe we can do a little something here with the floor. So maybe these blue lines sort of lead into the ticket booth itself, right? Just to sort of uh, guide the commuter uh, into the up and down. And then, and then at some point, we might need to add like an up and down sign here or a banner of some kind, right? But guys, I think that actually works pretty decent. I mean, all we need to do now is install some sort of a bubble vator that's going to take the uh, commuter all the way down here. By the way, shall we collect some of this very expensive concrete over here? Um, there we go. Uh, but let's try to figure out where that bubble vator could end up. Oh, you know what? With that blue line that we made, um, this one over here, that actually works quite nicely, right? Because that's going to sort of connect up with the blue line of the, the platform down here. So if we were to make some sort of a bubble vator that came all the way down like this, hopefully it's going to line up so that it connects perfectly with the platform that we've created below, right? <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. Does that actually connect, connect perfectly? No, it doesn't quite connect perfectly. Uh, there's a little bit of a, dis a disparity over here. So I guess that's going to mean the platforms are going to have to start from this position instead, right? So this will be like a solid wall uh, behind the platforms. This is where the train is going to stop, I, I guess, right? And this is where the platform will begin. And uh, man, that is very unfortunate that the blue line doesn't connect uh, completely synchronously or something. Although we could move the booth one block this way and that will connect everything symmetrically. That might actually be crazy enough to work. Now that is a satisfying feeling if I ever did feel one, guys. <laughs> this crazy build that we've been working on now slowly but surely manifesting itself on the server. Uh, definitely one of the biggest things that I've created in my time on Hermitcraft. In fact, I think it is the biggest thing that I've ever created and very proud of how it's turning out. Um, <laughs> very, very sweet. Now I've just been to the nether, guys, to get a little bit of soul sand and a little bit of uranium. And uh, this is what we called magma blocks in Season 5. Five, for those of you guys who are wondering, um, <laughs> we are going to be installing the ticket booth. Now, take a look at this. I think I'll be cooking with gas right now. Uh, I extended the length of the ticket booth one block to each side. So we've got the up and the down, one block on each side. And that gave us this really cool little window here in the center. And uh, what's very interesting about this is there's a little bit of an open space in here that we might be able to do something with. Maybe like a very small aquarium could go in here. That's what I was thinking. Uh, but I really love that we can see the sun set behind there here at North Terminal. That's really sweet. And I guess at South Terminal, 
sorry, West Terminal. And I guess at East Terminal, we'll have a great view of the shopping district, which is awesome. But uh, anyway, yeah, I wanted to install the bubble vaders with you guys now. And uh, this is actually lined up really nicely. So moving the, the terminal elevators uh, one block to each side has actually resulted in perfect symmetry down here at the platform. And as you can see, the blue line sort of follows itself out of the elevator and onto the platform rather perfectly, I might add. Uh, look at real sweet. I've also tried to add a little bit more blue in here. Not completely sold by this yet though i think it looks a little bit janktastic but i'll work on the color scheme and stuff probably a little bit off camera um, what i do want to do though is get this bubble vator installed unfortunately bubble vators are a little bit annoying because they have to go below a, a column of solid water sources right and what i've done here is just added a water source at the very top of this um this thing over here so that's not really going to work out the way that I wanted to uh, but I guess what we can do is add the uranium at the bottom no uranium is the suck uh, we want to add the push which is the soul sand right those are gonna that's gonna push us up the the water vator over here but as you can see you've got to make solid water sources all the way up and I'm not entirely sure how to do this I think we might be able to do this with sugar cane or with kelp I believe I remember seeing somebody telling me about this uh, in the comments when we first started um, this series. So let's get ourselves a little bit of sugar cane, maybe a little bit of kelp also. And I think the theory is that if you place the kelp into a flowing water source or the sugar cane into a flowing water source, it will actually make that water source into a solid water source, um, which could be exactly what we need to make this work. So let's give this a go, right? If we put some sand down there and we plant some kelp, if we grow the kelp up like so, so, is that going to create solid water sources uh, all the way up? I think it might, but of course, that's going to make the water flow all over the shop like this, right? Anyway, let's see if we can actually fix it. So, let's break that sand and let's replace the soul sand over there. And that is bubbles all the way up. Is that bubbles all the way up? Yes. Oh, that did actually work. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, so... Uh, wow, the bubbles are pushing really hard. Can we actually try it against the bubble flow? Yes, we can. Nice. Try dog 77 greater than bubble vator. Uh, now, I suppose the challenge is getting the water to not flow out like this. So what we can do is add another bit of glass paintage over here. And then can we just cut the water off like that? Is that actually going to work? That isn't going to work, unfortunately. That is mildly annoying i don't know exactly how we can deal with that is is that because uh, we're using oops is that because we're using panes over here and panes can actually hold a water source what happens if we just did the good old-fashioned cutting the water off like this um hopefully that is going to work no the water actually does flow because these are solid water sources over here so i'm gonna have to try to figure out a way to do this um without making a massive mess over here oh my goodness dudes after about 20 minutes or so of derping around with bubble beta mechanics, guys, experimenting with trap doors and heavy pressure plates and freaking kelpage, I think I've finally figured out the easiest way for us to install some bubble vaters here for our terminals in Grand Central, and I think it looks really sweet. I feel like we're in some sort of a 1960s retro, like burger joint or something <laughs> but uh it's turning out pretty good take a look at this man real easy to make this we're going to be using some stained glass panes for this and uh, I'll, I'll install this particular elevator i suppose with you guys it's very very simple to do and this was actually inspired by the way that impulse made his bubble vaters for the mall uh in the shopping district because i've been trying to work out exactly how to make these single column bubble vaters and well impulse cracked the nut on that one a long time ago and that is of course doing it uh in a sort of diagonal entry rather than a, a vertical entry and uh, that was kind of an awkward way up there wasn't it geez uh, but what i mean by that is instead of entering the bubble vater straight on we're actually going to enter the bubble vater um, from the side over here now i've done a, a different color over here so we've got a blue bubble vater here and a white bubble vater over here and that's just simply to indicate that this bubble vater is up and the blue bubble vater is down um, i don't know if that actually makes much of a difference but we do need to get a water source in here so let's get the water source all the way at the top there 
then we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did with the other one uh, before we can actually get the bubble vader action going uh, we need to make all of these solid water sources right so let's get our kelp all the way up to the top uh, beautiful did that go all the way up to the top yeah and then i think that uh, that uranium oh i've got another piece of uranium here nice so let's put the, the piece of uranium here in the place of the sand a uh, boom and that yep there's the suckage oh my goodness okay yep that okay that that's that is very serious suckage <laughs> Wow, uh, I think we need to put this actually flush on the block, right? Yeah, there we go. Jeez. Uh, and I guess we're going to have to do the same with the soul sand over here, right? Oh, and I just realized something, guys. Now that we've got an in and an out elevator of our bubble vators, we can actually synchronize that with the platforms themselves. So this platform will be the platform coming from West Station, right? So when you travel from West Station, you'll hop out over here, and then you'll be able to, get to go up the bubble vator and into Grand Central. And of course, if you want to go out to West Station, you're going to take the bubble vator down, and then you'll be able to get on the outgoing train over here. It looks like this bubble vator isn't quite working correctly. Correctly, um, so we'll fix that. Also, I might need to change this glass to solid glass blocks because um, we actually get trapped on the way out, here, don't we? Over here, yeah, I need to probably fix that and just change these glass blocks to solid pane or solid blocks anyway. Uh, but yeah, that has turned out real good, guys. Very happy with that, man. Very excited to see what you guys think about this. Looking pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. Unfortunately, run out of time in today's episode, guys. Why don't we go for one quick last flyby um, <laughs> along the the Grand Central Station that we built over here as the sun is setting. And uh, guys, thank you so very much for watching this episode. I hope you did enjoy it. I'm very pleased with the progress that we made on the server. And as I said, um, keep an eye on Scar, man. Let's see who he tags next. Can't wait to see who gets the tag action next. Oh my goodness, went face first into Grand Central. Thank you for watching, guys. Ren Digger the Dog signing out. My friends, we'll smell you all in the next episode. <laughs>